In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to access Cloudflare Zero Trust, a powerful security feature that can help safeguard your organization's resources. Whether you're looking to protect your internal applications or secure user access, Cloudflare Zero Trust offers a comprehensive solution. Let's walk through this process step by step, ensuring you have a smooth experience as you set it up. First, you'll want to log into your Cloudflare dashboard. Once you're in, look for the Zero Trust, or sometimes referred to as Cloudflare One, icon in the sidebar. Clicking here is your gateway to getting started with securing your network. Upon entering, you'll be guided by the onboarding wizard, a handy tool that will ask you to choose a team name. Think of this as the unique identifier for your team, which will form your team domain. For example, if your chosen team name is MyCorp, your team domain becomes MyCorp, cloudflareaccess.com. Next, you'll need to decide on a plan that suits your needs. Cloudflare offers a free option for teams with up to 50 users, which is great for small businesses or startups. Of course, if you require additional features or have a larger team, there are paid plans available which offer even more robust capabilities. Once you have your initial setup complete, it's time to enroll your users and configure their identities. For this, navigate to the Zero Trust portal and head to the Settings section, then click on Authentication. Here, you'll set up your preferred login method. Cloudflare Zero Trust gives you flexibility by allowing options such as a one-time PIN or the use of third-party identity providers like Google Workspace and Azure AD. This ensures that your team can access resources securely and in a manner that aligns with your organization's existing IT infrastructure. With your login method configured, it's important to organize your users. This is done by creating access groups. You can find this option under the Access section and then Access Groups. This step allows you to cluster users based on specific criteria or roles within your organization making it easier to manage permissions and access control. Lastly, you'll add and configure applications under Access in the Applications section. This is where you link your applications to the Access groups and defined authentication methods. By doing this, you ensure that only authorized users, as per your defined rules and access groups, can access sensitive company applications and data. And that's it! By following these steps, you've successfully embarked on setting up Cloudflare Zero Trust for your organization. By being proactive with these measures, you're not just securing your infrastructure, but you're also making it more efficient and reliable for your team. We hope you found this guide helpful, and remember, keeping your digital assets secured is paramount in today's tech environment. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.